Hello, brothers and sisters. It's a, it's a pretty great day. Uh, sorry I didn't do a video last night. I um, I was just tired. I read and then I went to bed. I uh, I'm gonna start with the gospel first. Corinthians 15, one through. I'm gonna read is. As much as I can. Honestly, I try to read through it to give context and stuff like that. I just feel like it's easier to read scripture like that than just give like one or two verses. So, I'm going to do that and then I'm going to read about the blood. Because the most important part, the atonement of our sins is is Jesus Christ's blood. So, God has been putting it on my heart to make videos and just preach the gospel. And I pray that everyone who sees this video that they, uh, um, they open their heart to the Lord and not harden it. Because... There will be people who harden their hearts and 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 hate him, and I get it because when before I found the Lord, I I hated God for my faults and my actions and the things that I did in this world, and I and honestly I wish that I would have found him earlier because I believe that I would have went through you know bad times, but like I'd have been with the Lord and I would have got through a lot of the the, the sufferings easier with him, like I am right now, like I. Spiritually, I've been attacked ever since I've been with the Lord. So, um, I'm going to start with the gospel first. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved. If you keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures, and that he was seen of Cepheus, then of the twelve. After that he was seen of above five hundred brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain unto this present, but some are fallen asleep. After that he was seen of James, then of the apostles, and, and last of all he was seen of seen of me also as of one born out of due time for i am the least of the apostles that i that am not meant to be called an apostle because i persecuted the church of god i did the same thing before i found god i was i hated christians i thought they killed jesus i, I just was i just hated people i picked and chose who i loved now i love everybody but by the grace of god i am what i am by his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain, but I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me. Therefore, whether it were I or they, so we preach, and so ye believed. Now if Christ be preached that he rose from the dead, how say some among you that there is no resurrection of the dead? But if there be no resurrection of the dead, then is Christ not risen? And if Christ be not risen, then is our preaching in vain, and your faith is also vain. Yeah, and we are found false witnesses of God, because ye have testified of God that he raised up Christ, whom he raised not up, if so be that the dead not rise, dead rise not. For if the de dead rise not, then is not Christ raised. And if Christ not, sorry, and if Christ be not raised, your faith is vain. Ye are yet in your sins. So if Christ didn't die, like they said, then we're all dead in our sins and we have no hope. And we're all going to hell. But that's not true. The word of God is the truth. It's the only truth that we know, people. The governments are lying. The board of education is a lie. Like, the earth is almost 6,000 years old. Like, Man is only allotted 6,000. So, like, we're on the cusp. 2030 is the reign of the Messiah, which is Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. Please, wake up. The rapture is just around the corner. Some watchers, or um, they're thinking it's Pentecost. I'm thinking, like, that's like, it's a high rapture watch date. We don't like to um, name a date and, like, oh, this is when Jesus is coming. I don't do that. Um... It could be Feast of Trumpets, maybe. I don't know. 
I'm hoping it's soon. I just want to be with the Lord, and I want you guys to feel the same way, like, and just love Jesus with all your heart and soul and confess it, you know? And if you don't know him and you're looking at this video and you're hearing the gospel, call out to him. Call out. He'll come. He did it to me. August 26, 9 p.m., 2022, he did it for me. He changed my life. I was doing drugs. Um, I was cheating on my wife or my fiance at the time. I was doing all these evil, evil things, man. And uh, and uh, I'm glad that I found God because I'm not the same person no more. I got the Holy Spirit changes me, tells me when I'm like, He just corrects me, just puts me on the path, and and just to love everybody, man. And it's really that simple. It's just to believe what Jesus did for you. Believe in the blood of Christ. Now I'm going to go to the blood of Christ. Give me a couple seconds. Because I have a notebook. I write a bunch of important scriptures and stuff like that. I suggest like if you're like new and you're just seeing this and you actually want to get you know, into the word of God. Uh, start reading from the New Testament and go into Paul's epistles like Acts, Romans, all like that. And then when you're... when you, when God puts on your heart to like write something down, write it down. Listen to God, you know, pay attention. And uh, so I'm going to go with the blood. Read some scripture about the blood. It's important. The blood is important. Okay. So I'm doing Romans 25 and 26. Whom God hath set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood. Faith in the blood, because the blood is what gives us our atonement for our sins. This is why we need Jesus Christ, because we need our sins covered. And if we don't have Jesus, your sins aren't covered, and you're going to go through the seven-year tribulation. And if you don't die for Christ, then to be a tribulation saint, you will go to hell forever. And I don't want that from you, because I love you, everyone. Anybody that comes to this thing, just I just want to let you know that I love you. And God loves you. Jesus Christ loves you. He didn't make hell for us, for humans. He made it for the devil and his angels. He can't force you to love him. You have to do that on your own. That's what freedom of will is. He's the His love is eternal. And then... <clears throat> So I'll repeat that. So I, sometimes I get off tangent because I just love talking about God, you know. So, whom God hath set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood, to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past through the forbearance of God. I declare, I say, at this time his righteousness, that he might be just and the justifier of him which believeth in Jesus. People. It's it's so easy, man. Just believe what he did for you. Stop fighting God. Stop fighting the Holy Spirit. If God is sending you videos about him, about people dying and, and Jesus coming to him, like, watch it. Open your hearts. Let him in. Because he loves you. That's why he's just trying to wake you up. The whole world's collapsing on, it, on each other, okay? People who believe in Jesus, there's nothing to fear. You have Jesus. We have God, and we'll be leaving here soon, and we'll be with God forever. Like, people who don't believe who come to this channel, don't you want to be with God forever? Like, get a brand new glor uh, glorified body, all of it. Like, you get to be with God. You get to talk to him. Like, I'm excited, you know? I'm really excited. And so now I'm going to go to um, the rapture. So you can you need to look this thing uh, these things up yourselves. Like just don't listen to me. I'm reading off scripture. This is not my opinion. This is God's truth. That's it. You know I believe it because He is the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, people. And uh, you need to open up the Bible, King James Version, please. It's important, okay. Uh, and read the Word of God. Try to give God at least an hour a day. Um, also. Another good man on this uh, YouTube is uh, Chris Esteep. Uh I love Robert Breaker. He breaks down the Bible verse by verse. He teaches you. Like, that's how I learned. Like, God sent me to Chris Esteep. And then Chris, through God, sent me to Robert Breaker. Like, God has been moving. He's making decisions. He's putting people together. Like, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. You can see it. It's crazy. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to go into the... 
go to the rapture of the church. Okay, Thessalonians 4, 13 through 18. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. That's, that's the dead in Christ. That's the people who are in heaven. Their souls are in heaven, but their bodies are down here. Their bodies are dead, but their souls are alive. Because your soul is eternal. It's either going to hell or heaven. For, <clears throat> for this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. He's going to come on the clouds. With the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. They come first. They get their they they they're in heaven. They come on the clouds. God sends them down here to get their bodies. Come on, God can do anything. Don't put them in a box. He knows where their bodies at. They come get their bodies. They go up in the clouds. They have their glorified bodies. And then which <clears throat> then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. To meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. That is beautiful. People. Please. Wherefore comfort one another with these words. These, these are the words that we comfort. That we're going to be with God forever. And he with us. And our, our glorified bodies won't hurt no more. We won't know sin no more. We'll just know righteousness. We'll know we'll make right decisions and 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 we'll be able to be with God forever. Like it's gonna be amazing. Like I just can't wait to hug him, kiss him, tell him how much I love him. Thank you for dying for me. Cause he died for my sins. He died for your sins. On that cross, people, please. It's the blood. Believe trust in the blood. You're covered. In his righteousness. You can't do anything to get into heaven. It's only by him. He is literally the door. Okay? There's no other way. Alright? And um, the rapture can happen tonight. It can happen tomorrow. Um, so today is the day of salvation. God has put this on my heart. To continue to preach the gospel in these videos. And... To go out and tell people to repent and believe in the gospel and believe in Jesus Christ because he loves them. And and God does the work from there. You know, I without God, I can do none of this. I'm I'm off a speaker. Um, I'm off at reading the scripture, but I know it. You know, I had to learn it. God helped me learn it. The Holy Spirit took me where I go. I asked the Holy Spirit every day, what do I need to read after I read a book? You know, I was just in Romans. I was like... Jesus, what do you want me to read next? He said Corinthians. So I'm I'm on Corinthians. The Gospels in First Corinthians, fifteen. I re, I try to read the whole thing, give the whole context of everything. It's very important. Don't just read one or two scriptures, and don't listen to these preachers, these other people. Read it for yourself, so that they can't deceive you, people. Please. It's important to learn these things by yourself. It's for your salvation. Um, I'm going to do another video tomorrow, uh, or try to, but God, he wants me to make these videos every single day. Just, I'll always start with the gospel. I'll start with the blood. I need to go on to Ephesians. Ephesians has some things in the blood. Uh, I found some other scriptures that's crazy that I have written down in my, <clears throat> my notebook that I need to, I want to read to you guys and just, um, just Get you to learn that. And then obviously I want you to follow along or whatever. If you're watching my video, follow along and read it yourself so you can see that I'm telling you the truth. I have no reason to lie to you. I love you. This is for your salvation. Um, I love you, family. Thank you, uh, Jason CJL. I believe it's L or I. But thank you for this, uh, the, the new subscriber. I want to thank you for so much. I'm going to start watching your videos. Um, I've liked a couple of them, and if you see this, man, I love you, brother. Stay in the Word of God. Have a good day.